It's not very loud one. Oi, I'm glad it's hooked my hand. I know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was loud. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Nicola Schindler. I am Chief Executive and Executive Producer of Key Street Productions. Key Street's a drama and comedy company, mostly drama, anything scripted really, and we are looking to make drama across the board for both UK broadcasters and streamers and anyone who wants to buy it. So I was involved in theatre and drama when I was at university and I realised that what I wanted to do was work with writers and was very lucky to get a job at the Royal Court Theatre in London, which was the home of new writers. I wasn't working with writers, I was working in the publicity department, but I knew that was my aim, was to get involved in the writing process. And I realised after a couple of years at a the theatre and looking at what other jobs were out there, that my style of working and my taste was more suited to television than theatre. So I got a job at the BBC, then as a trainee script editor, and uh, worked my way up from there. I think that I was very lucky from both timing and the work that I was attached to from really early on in my career. So I spent um, a year working as a trainee script editor at the BBC which meant reading a lot of scripts and reporting for people on other projects and through that I made contacts with the development team, with producers and showed them that they could trust me in terms of taste and in terms of script. So when a job came up to be a script editor on a new show called Cracker, one of the producers who was doing it had been at the BBC, so he knew of me, so asked me to apply, and that was my first script editing job. And then after Cracker, which was at Granada for ITV, I went back to the BBC to work on a programme called Our Friends in the North. First as a script editor, but it was a massive epic show that was nine episodes long, you know, I think it was over 12 hours, and the producer needed more extra help, so asked me to become an assistant producer on Our Friends in the North, which I did. And from that, that took two years, and that was a huge learning curve. Uh, but after that, I did feel I was ready to produce. I went back to Granada to take on my first producing contract, which was to make Hillsborough, the drama documentary. So I, I was very lucky in terms of the quality of the productions that I was working on and the fact that I was able to climb upwards in the hierarchy quite straightforwardly. When it came to setting up my own company, I knew that I wanted to go back home, which is Manchester, and I wanted to live and work in Manchester. So it felt like an opportunity to do something, to set up a structure that meant that hopefully enough work was produced that I and other people who live in the area could keep living in the area. Because I don't think it's very healthy if everyone has to go and live in London and then become part of the same conversation. I, I, I've always wanted to stay outside of the traditional London conversation so that I can bring something different on screen. So it's always been really important to me and it was something from the minute of setting up Red that I was really determined that, that we wouldn't be based in London. I was really surprised at first at how much business I had to do really because I thought I was just going to read books and, and tell stories and, and give my ideas. But what I realised was this is a, a you know, it's, it's a business that is about money and it involves a lot of money. So you have to be absolutely sure that you're, you're confident with what you're doing and that means develop your business brain. And I think for me, the key thing I do is I think about the financial side of everything, but only in terms of the story I'm telling. So I will ask myself, is that budget enough? But not because of the money and the figures, but because of the story that I'm trying to tell. I'll have to make cuts and I'll have to think which scene does, has to be cut. And it's a financial decision, but it's also a creative decision. So if you put the story at the centre of everything, then you balance out the business side. And the business that I have to do, I'm doing because I want to make more television. So it, it, it's all led by the creative. I think it's a fantastic industry to work in and I think you should try, you, you know, if, if this is what you want to do then you should go for it. You should be prepared for knockbacks and for difficulties because it's about taste and it's about subjective opinion. So sometimes you won't be right for people, it doesn't mean that you're wrong at all. Whether that's, you know, you're writing a script or uh, as a producer or just to get into the production industry, you have to keep trying and you have to be prepared to take knockbacks and keep going for it. And you have to believe in your voice as well, I think. I think what's really important to me is I know what my opinion is and I've stuck by my opinion while listening so uh, you know just be really sure in what it is you want to do and go for it. <laughs>